we always believe the people. Fuck Jackie Lacey. Fuck Jackie Lacey. We always believe the people. It's important to always believe the people. When black people started talking about driving while black, believe the fucking people. We don't need a LA Times report yes. to confirm it 20 years later. Yeah. So we know 609 people have been killed by police since Jackie Lacey took office. And so we keep lifting up how many of these mothers and fathers and sons and daughters and community members and siblings are being stolen by police and 609 is way too many. One is way too many. Yes. It's a genocide. So the raising of consciousness in this country and in this county will mean that people understand that she is in bed with police. 609 people have been killed by police since she took office. She refuses to prosecute those officers. And so she has blood on her hands. People are awake now. So they know that this district attorney cannot be voted back in. And so it's important that we continue to say the numbers that we know. Because you have mainstream media going, oh, it's not 609, it's only 330. Well, first of all, even if it was fucking 330, so many. that's 330 fucking lives. Yeah. We are not trying to just change the culture of policing. We're trying to do away with a system of policing that's rooted in slave catching. So. We want to be very clear about that. We're done tinkering around edges. You know, we're done with this rhetoric of reform. We're saying we need to reimagine what public safety is, and we know for black people, safety has never come through police. But second of all, what this person who occupies this building is trying to do is say that, you know, the murder of Cesar Rodriguez doesn't count because he wasn't shot. The murder of Waikisha Wilson doesn't count because she wasn't shot. The murder of John Horton doesn't count because he wasn't shot. We need to remember what it is they're doing. They're playing games. One, they're getting you into an argument that we don't even need to fucking get into. Now, on this Jackie Lacey thing, she lost the, the primary election by 1.3% of actually winning it. You have to believe that Black Lives Matter had to had some impact on her not getting the 50% plus one. How'd you feel when the, when the ballots were counted and she was under 50%? I felt great that she's been forced into a runoff, and that has everything to do with us having been in front of her office now for two and a half years. Um, and so, yeah, it feels great that she's forced into a runoff. What we are learning in this moment is that we always believe the people and fuck the fucking police. Always believe the people, fuck the police. That they are a band of liars and brutalizers and slave catchers and fucking murderers. How are we going to hold George Gaston accountable when he wins this fall? Well, one of the things he's come to us with is whether or not we'll support him. What we say is, well, we're glad that, you know, you signed off on Prop 47. We're glad to hear you talk about decarceration. We're glad to hear you um, sign off on AB 392. But he also has not prosecuted police in San Francisco. So what we did have to tell him is, we can't support you because we know we're going to be protesting you too. The great thing is that he didn't do what Jackie Lacey's done for the last two and a half years. He didn't run. He said, I know you have to hold me accountable and we will hold him accountable. And so, you know, of course, nobody will be worse than Lacey, but we also can't lose sight of the fact that our job as engaged folks is to hold these people accountable and make sure that we are the uh, moral compass for them. When black folks started talking about us getting into
entered into databases, gang databases, illegally, unjustly, and we shouldn't have no fucking gang databases in the first fucking place. Believe the fucking people. When black people are saying Metro Division is the worst of the worst, they're the most brutal of the fucking slave catchers, believe the fucking people. So even though they don't want to believe the people, we believe the people, yes? We believe the people, yes? I mean, there's a whole lot we have to do about that the role of the DA in partnering with police on every other case and then being asked to prosecute them, they're in bed together. So how do you do that, right? So we do have to impact a lot, but we're thinking about, again, not just reform, we're talking about transformation. And so doing away with policing as we know it, doing away with prosecutions as we know it. So that's the work of Black Lives Matter. We always, in the words of Fred Hampton, have to remember who we are. We are the people, not the pigs. Yeah. We are the people, not the pigs. Yeah. We are the people, not the pigs. We are the people, not the pigs. So I'm gonna turn it over. I'm gonna say I want y'all to look around and believe your own eyes because tomorrow, they may not even recognize this gathering. If they do, they'll say there were 20 people in the streets. No. This is thousands of people yeah. who rose up in the middle of the day yeah. every fucking Wednesday. Yeah. To say that Jackie Lacey must go. Jackie Lacey must go. Jackie Lacey must go. Jackie Lacey will go. Jackie Lacey will go. Jackie Lacey will go. Jackie Lacey will go. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description. And thanks for watching StreetTV.net.